It's Brian Preston, the money guy. And I had a look. I have seen, because Graham's got over 2 million followers yep. on YouTube or subscribers. So I've seen his stuff. I haven't clicked on his stuff because, I'll be honest, I didn't think I'd like this dude. Sure. Because yeah. he is, um, Graham kind of clowned me in a way, but <laughs> in the fact that he was already occupying three of my four personal pet peeves of social media influencers. Okay. I'll explain. Because I can right. tell that you're looking for some explanation. First, he's got titles that border on clickbait. Okay, like maybe like this one, millionaire at 26. I mean, and look, and I'm even going to pick on Graham a little bit in the fact that he will have a p thumbnail picture that has absolutely nothing to do with actual content. Right. Uh, perfect example today, we're recording the show. Yep. We're in show meeting. Since we've been doing show prep, you know, YouTube algorithm is showing us all kinds of stuff. Graham has a show that just went out five days ago. It, the, the thumbnail picture is his net worth is like $9 million. Sure. We like we need to go get an update. You click on it, it's him talking about index investments. Very so it was a show. lot different. So he's got number one, flashy clickbait type titles. Yep. Don't love those. Number two, he has flashy cars. Yep. You know, always the trophies of the trappings of success that you see in all these social media stars that annoy us. Graham has those. And then number three, he even, because this is the thing, I, I don't know what's going on with, and this is how I know I'm getting to be old. Because when I go on, you know, any of my Apple Music, Spotify, and you go to top songs, every song on the top list has an E for That's explicit right, yeah. in it. Well, guess what? It, it, it has fallen over into social media as well, is that Graham does this as well, is that his slogan is do epic poop. That's, but he well, doesn't use the word poop. He says I mean, it a little bit differently. We even, yep. He even has some merch that he's done. that We, we took the, the, the creative editing at uh, Daniel... Because we, him to put the we happy don't like poop. to be explicit on our channel. Yeah, we, we don't do we don't do that unless Brian just messes up and screws up how <laughs> words are said. But but here's the fourth thing, because if Graham was going for all four of the four corners of being annoying on social media, he would have half naked people. Yeah, he does, doesn't his, have well, any he doesn't have explicit or yep. you know, he doesn't have, you know, that type of thing. But so Graham is doing three of those four things. So so I just kind of ignored him. Sure. Did, didn't pay any attention to him. But I got to tell you, after actually watching some of his content, kind of impressed. Yeah, man. I, I, I mean, he's legit. I wanted to dislike him so bad, but as I watched more and more and more of his videos, I was like, God, just me and this guy are going to be friends. I just feel like that's the case. He even has some episodes that he has his girlfriend. Yep. And we don't know her name because he just calls her the Graham. He just calls him Graham Stephens' Graham's girlfriend. Girl, so, but... It's dynamite, man. I mean, when you see their their interaction, I mean, you can't help but like it. So that that led me to I wanted to do a show. We wanted to do mm -hmm. a reaction type show to kind of walk through who this person is. So we actually created a summary page sure. of some of his big accomplishments, and then let's get into who the heck is he? You know, what is there some teachable things from this, and could you even reproduce this yourself? So yeah, if we're gonna run through just a quick biography of Graham Stephan. Uh, at 18, he was the very first agent the Oppenheim Group ever hired. And I think you told me Oppenheim Group was kind of You didn't even know who that well was. So selling, if, you, right if you watch Netflix, everybody in the office, by the way, Hannah, who can overhear us right outside the studio here, I had a conversation with her probably three or four weeks ago about selling Sunset because right? the new season came out. Well, it's it's got all these, and look, their formula is pretty, you know, it's attractive, Female agent sure. selling very expensive property out in the L.A. scene. Sure. Hannah, did I nail that summary? It's probably because the houses are pretty, you know, they're, they're flashy stuff. Little did I know, here it is, Graham is the first agent of the Oppenheimer Group. Somehow he didn't make the cut uh, on, the, on the billboard that they have of these attractive women that are agents, but Graham is affiliated but with But he was the very first agent that they hired. Uh, he's had... Over $125 million of property sales. So it sounds like he's been a pretty successful real estate agent. Uh, he's the owner of six rental properties. So not only does he sell rental property, he actually buys rental properties uh, as an investment. Uh, he's a car guy. And dare I say, he's actually a guy that invests in cars? Is well, I think, I'm like, being the CPA, I know that Graham probably has a unique opportunity that others don't. And I know he's taking advantage of this. Since he incorporates his car on his set... 
I guarantee he's deducting. It's deductible, yeah. Because it's essentially an expensive prop in right. the background of his car. That's why if you watch him now, he, his daily driver's a Tesla, sure. so we have that in common. But um, well, that was a humble brag. I was a humble brag. Solid I love humble it. brag. I don't have the Lotus, but we do both have the Tesla. <laughs> so we'll keep going. Go to the next point, because I'm uh, a little fruffled in, now. In addition, uh, he's a YouTuber, and this is the big one, with over two million subscribers on YouTube. He's done something pretty remarkable with his YouTube channel. So we wanted, to, but go give him the numbers. Don't don't just say he's a YouTuber without kind of giving a little detail as well. All of these other accolades are impressive in and of themselves, but when you actually look at what he's been able to do as a YouTube sensation, in one of his recent videos, he broke down his 2019 YouTube revenue. And Th what, this is why Graham's cray. Because I mean, he's who completely in the world, transparent. Who in the world would tell everybody how much you? specifically make. He showed that with his first, his, his main YouTube channel in 2019, he made a little over $1.1 $1 million. With his second YouTube channel, which is kind of like a talk show channel, he made about $171,000. It was new, by the way, too. It so that number, then. this is probably old at this point. Uh, he has a program, like a course, where you can become a good real estate agent. That uh, He had over half a million dollars of revenue there. He gets about $50,000 in sponsorships and then $40,000 in affiliate marketing. So from YouTube alone in 2019, he made over $1.9 million. That's pretty incredible. It's unbelievable. So when you say YouTuber, I mean, look, there's a lot of folks out there posting do-it-yourself type videos that aren't making $1.9 no. There's a lot of guys making personal finance content that are not making <laughs> $1.9 million. Let's be honest.